intro loud. Hello, everybody! Welcome to a live stream of Halcyon 6 Lightspeed Edition. Fingers crossed the stream holds. I've been having some issues with the internet today. Oh, man, that's extra loud. Those of you watching this right now, either live or recorded, did this go out? Or is that just the end of the song? Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, for those of you watching this right now, either live or recorded, please let me know how things are sounding in terms of my voice in relation to the background music, because I'm working with a new recorder now, and I'm hoping that things will remain stable. Let me make a quick announcement on Twitter. Let people know that ideally, um, things are working. And then as soon as I make this, it will stop. There we go. But, while we're waiting for people to join, and the music of course is picking up, this is Halcyon 6 The Light Speed Edition. And basically what happened, oh hi William, thanks for coming on, is that the original Halcyon 6 was a Kickstarter game that they did a lot of updates to it, completely adding in new systems, changing mechanics around, to the point that they just decided to say, you know what, we're going to release an up-to-date or a new version of the game. So the Lightspeed Edition is going to be the quote-unquote main version of the game going forward, but anyone who bought the original gets this for free, and anyone who buys the Late Speed Edition gets the original for free as well. So, basically, you're still only buying one game, but now there's the new and fancy edition, and then, I guess, a uh, classic Halcyon 6. Also, for those of you watching this right now live, we did decide to delay our Game Wisdom Live show until tomorrow night, while hopefully these internet issues will not plague me. But that will be around 9 Eastern on Friday. So enough about me talking. Let's get in. Let's see how things are looking stream-wise. And see what we got. And again, let me know if the music's too loud or if I'm coming in uh, too low. <laughs> I'll keep this on hard, I guess. See how things go. And we better keep this on a normal or non Iron Man just until I get my bearings. Here we go. So I'm very curious to see what they've actually have changed. So this is the basic tutorial of the game. So if you missed it the first time, this is a strategy game with a tactical combat in the sense, or turn base. seeing if they've changed anything around. Mm 
Aí agora Different attacks are designed to exploit various uh, status ailments. Just like in Darkest Dungeon, you can have those situations where you have to heal someone for it while they're on death's door. pulled out that battle. That's not good for me. So what do we have now? I suppose we can actually name some people too. So they've done a lot in terms of making the various officers and crew members uh, more specialized. I think the issue was internet related, El Gordo. How do things look for you guys watching? So here's the thing they've done now, is that uh, each officer belongs to one of the three classes of either science, uh, tactics, or engineering. The spaceship that they pilot will control will have four powers to it, and then the bridge officer gives it four as well. They also come with their own ground powers for when they're off ship. But the big thing now is that it looks like there's a prestige class. So this must be on 
an enhanced thing for each character. So, do we have anything good? His special abilities are down here. I don't know what proficiency and weakness mean just yet. Let's see, does Lucas have any abilities that can stun an enemy? I will take uh, Corbin here. That's what the ship is weak against. Now we're just gonna cost. Yeah, yeah, thank you, game. Head back over here. And here is our ship. And again, these are the abilities that the ship comes with. The officer supplies four of his own or her own. And looks like there's now equipment too you can put on. interesting. So I need to look for anything that inflicts vul vulnerable sensors offline. I don't have anything. Well, we can knock out his weapons. Those weapons have lost 25% damage.
That's a crazy eye. We'll need to take him out, though. <laughs> Alright, so now we're dealing with two attack- two enemies, I should say. So, I will switch out that and we'll put on triple shot. So that takes two turns before I can use it again. Man, they are hitting really well, aren't they? As you can see, some of its attacks have cooldowns. Eventually, we will get more ships to create fleet. Get him. That does deep damage over time, so he's dead. The graphics for the game do look a little bit better. Alright, so now we're going to click on Return Home. The UI, I remember, was also pretty cumbersome in terms of selecting and going back and forth between screens. So how is how do things look now? And of course, we'll be opening up new rooms here to then add stuff into them. to keep going forward. And we need power in order to keep, or to add more rooms to our station. Sound-wise, am I coming in all right and can you guys hear the game all right? Also, I'm curious if there's any more or less delay in terms of how things are looking. Oh, nice miss. And say goodnight. We need fuel in order to basically send out ships. Yeah, that UI is a lot better. You just have to go to a separate screen in order to command ships to go back and forth.
right, so we're going to get another officer. All right, so there's still about a 10 second delay, chat wise. Yeah. And so I think that may be as low as I can get it. All right, so we have commando. All right, so the skills you get for the prestige are the same for each one. That doesn't get rerolled. Sure, who to get here? We could go either way. Oh, I'm looking the wrong one. Repairs. That exploits engine down. Let's go with... Let's go with science. Mm, nah, I'm gonna go with mechanic. Jeez, that's new. Ah. Yeah, this right here is all really new to me. Yeah, they have certainly been enhancing things. Very interesting. We'll put them to work. And we only repair it right now. Federation shuttle, I believe, is used for transporting goods. Okay, so this does more damage. Huh, it's not telling me what the ship actually does in terms of its skills. Well, let's go with the knight and see what we get. That way everything should get done in time, and then we can have her go out. Interesting. And then the better the officer will increase, will uh, lower the amount of time it takes. The 
turn these all changings around. I wonder what it's doing in terms of... Oh, they have changed the fuel, it looks like. Well, that's the case. Oop, did not mean to do that. Mm -mm. Here are our green shirts. And you always want to exploit effects. Oh no. Yeah, the graphics look a whole lot nicer in the game. Uh-oh. Hope our green shirt makes it. So the new thing now is you can spend points to unlock new abilities. Mm -hmm. Well, that is certainly an interesting one. Here's your own damage. Seventy percent. I'll take ramming speed and see what we can get with that. No, no, stop clicking that. All right, transfer. We will upgrade. We can also unlock new ships. as well as just upgrade our ships as well. Mm -hmm. How are you doing in terms of research? So as you can see, everything that has a check mark we've unlocked already. That's really nice. But let's go for the Officer Academy. I need a few more to do it. So. shipped on yet? No, not yet. There we go. 
So these are, again, we can only have, it looks like, three abilities equipped at one time. But she's ready to go. So we will send her out. I'm just seeing how things are working in terms of the UI. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this UI could probably look a little bit better here. Wait, can I only have one fleet out at the same time? Hmm. That can't be right, can it? That UI could probably be a little bit more refined, or at least a little bit easier to make out what I'm doing here. Alright. Eventually, we'll combine them both. Yeah, of course. Let's go down to the surface. Oh. Line them. Oh. You missed the blind enemy. That's that's great. Man, this is Darkest Dungeon all over again, isn't it? Everybody's missing. So this is knocked out, so we won't be able to get any resources. Oh, so you can rebuild now. Before it used to be, if you lose it, you lose it completely. Well, that's nice to see. Again, if we wanted to, we could upgrade. But I need scraps, we won't do that. Or minerals, I should say. Alright, mission accomplished. We don't want too many ships flying around because it can really eat into our fuel. Yeah, so until they're leveled up, we can't even rebuild at the moment. Hmm. 
Oh, so what should we do here? Should we let them go, or should we... <laughs> force them to come back with us? For you guys watching live right now, what do you think? Yeah, these new these events are also new, at least from the when I last played this game. So they've definitely been doing a lot in terms of broadening these systems out. So what do you guys think? Let them go or take them back? While you're doing that, I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Alright, El Gordo, are you being um what was it from the from West of Loathing? Oh, you got William too. What was it? What was the trait we got? Uh, not roguish, brutish. No, um, despicable, something like that. Cause Algora made me kill an unarmed guy in West of Loathing. All right, so you're saying force? Oh, it looks like they're not coming with us. Sure. Ruthless, there we go, thank you. Look out for the head crab. And we blew him up. The little death animations are nice. Alright. If we're gonna take on that ship, I would like to get my second guy here. Oop. No, 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 we don't want that. There we go. UI is basically operating on top of each other. Uh oh. Alright, let's go down. Ooh. What's he doing? Ooh. So he's gotten stronger. Again, the key to playing Halcyon 6 is exploiting uh, the different effects. That ship. Uh oh. Mm. I'm going to be mean here. I'm going to tell him to come. Wait, that improved morale? Okay. So this is the big deal. We'll be able to set up satellite drones that will go and pick up resources for us, and in return it will save us on fuel. This was one of the very big things I remember right at the launch of Halcyon 6 that people were complaining about, because it's just micromanagement. So that is definitely a must to look at. Ship upgrades. Yeah. yeah, 
That's definitely a biggie for us. And we want to get that built. But for right now, I'm going to send our ships back. This will deposit the resources. Yeah, so we need to do the drone. Yeah, yeah. The UI is better, but it's still like a little bit cumbersome in some areas. So what I want to do now is there's only one ship here. So I want to try and kill him Therefore, thereby these guys will not come out and go after me. I mean, it doesn't matter what order we put these ships in, so this is fine. Uh-oh. I don't think he wants to listen to us. Now that we have two ships in play, it's time to get a little bit more technical. Okay. So that will work with that. Or that. limit though is just very weird and then you get one based on upgrading the character healing just in case. Alright, let's go. Alright. And again, by exploring it, we do a lot more damage. So he resists science-based attacks. And you can see what they're weak against right here. So we do one whole breach if possible. Or we just turn his ship off, either way. Jeez, how do we take so much damage? Oh, the whole breach, damn. Uh oh, we better heal that. Get him off of Death's door. is leveled up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll take 
big sniper. Oh. Oh, nice. So by getting our crew morale up, we get bonuses on top of things. Can I go here? Yeah. Send him back to base. That will repair everything. But I do really want to build that drone station. And then here are the pirates. So that's two. That's three little guys. We are not getting lucky, though. Man, I gotta do it. Alright, there we go. Oh, so we already have a satellite drone. So basically, the further away from our base, we should set up drones, because it will cost us less fuel. Like, this is just a small, you know, jaunt back and forth. But this costs us about 15 fuel, so we'll set up a drone here, I think. And we have three to begin with. This is better. Hmm, can I do both at the same time? No, it would actually be more beneficial to do this. Because it only takes one day. Do, 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 do. And then we will activate a dr do that. Is coming. Oh, good. It's the uh, Borg uh, lookalike here. <laughs> it's a little off playing. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> All right. So from now on, the drone is going to come over here and grab those resources for me. And again, we can upgrade and throw more at them as well. Give me that fuel. But if I'm going to afford things, we need to get more materials coming in. Good, they're alive. And then the same thing, I can set up a drone here to cut down on fuel. I may do that, but I think I want to make sure there is nothing further out. 
Now, because we have two officers, they're taking up the spots instead of having a green shirt. So hopefully this will help us. Hopefully the green shirt will not die, but... Uh-oh. Oh! That's a pleasant surprise. Not getting any combos though, which is pretty bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Right. There's our first combo of the fight, and it missed. <laughs> Man. got this guy pretty much debuffed. So this should be the kill. Stop. It. The eye's just dangling off there. Alright, Talon got upgraded. So this... Ah, before you had to manually upgrade abilities. Now it's all done through these skill points. Very nice. Yeah, well, if we're going to be able to make it better, might as well go for it, right? Now, what unlocks like their epic stuff? Can't do it until she gets a level four. Hmm. Come on. Now, actually, that's a really good UI. Uh, here's a good example of a UI problem or a UI bug. The overlay is not. Uh, basically given priority. So when I click here, it's clicking on what's behind there instead of clicking on this itself. Not a big deal, but it's one of those little things that you have to pay attention to when you're designing your game's UI information. Alright, do we want to do a drone here? I would really like to get some antimatter, antimatter coming in though. As you can see, we are way, way off the beaten path here. Uh oh, now what? What? I am not spending 300 materials to stop a romance. Alright, trap them in a room. Aww. Great. Huh? So I'm not good at uh, love situations. Alright, so this is going to be very useful. And this would definitely be worthy of setting up a a drone satellite for. Good. 
And again, this will save me on fuel, as well as the travel of going back and forth to these two positions. Let's head over here. I'm basically taking a tour around to see what we have access to. Mm -hmm. I can't, yeah, I can't do that right now. I know I'm going through all my drones. But the thing you have to understand is that this map is not going to change, as in more resources are going to pop up in and out. So what I'm doing is hopefully setting up for some long run help here. Now ideally, I will get drones for every place that I need it, but this will at least get me the important stuff. Materials, antimatter, and more materials. We'll probably have to get crew and fuel at some point. Alright, so let that go. Uh-oh. Now how bad is this? Oh boy, so that's two. Uh -oh, it's coming at me. All right, so we need to get there before it blows our place up. <laughs> the good news, it's two on two. The bad news is that we have, let's see, so he's good against science and he's good against tactical. See, we can set up a combo between the two. Mm. Oh. Very lucky. This could be very bad for me.
kill him, please. Because of this uh, nebula, we're not getting weapon disruption. Oh my god. Hit him, please. I does not want to die. Remember, there's a limit to the number of times I can heal when I send a fleet out. Right. We need to get that third ship, because I need to get uh, these guys all situated. So that's one, that's two. Hmm? Wait a minute. I'm not imagining things. I had three drones, right? Ah, there it is. Huh. Thought I was losing it there. Alright, so... Lao gets upgraded. And what I would like to do is definitely get that third academy. Mm -hmm. Good. like to get the drone control. We could get the one of these items too. Let's send the fleet out here. We'll heal right now anyway. Yeah, we need to get that drone very soon. I would like to see them actually get sent out, so I can see what it does. Get the crew. We could attack one of these pirates, too. Wait, did I not repair? Alright. So we now have a third. And for this, it should be very easy. Now we can train more officers. As well as promote. I 
going to take the Disciple. And this way we can get some work done. How can I easily repair? Good. Since we can only get three. Oh, hey, Loader. Uh, since we can only get three of them in a single fleet, it does kind of make it very easy to determine what we need. Go. This shouldn't be too bad of a fight. Get him. Getting there. Hmm. Can I just fly? And now we're going to build the satellite drone control. And we'll let him do this as well. seem to be stable internet wise I don't know if it cut out at all while I was playing all right there's our reward Definitely want to get a drone over there, if possible. So now we will. We now have a fleet that we can hopefully take out with us here. Hmm. I'm going to try and take out this big guy.
<laughs> Alright, uh oh. We got trouble anyway. We got company coming. All right, let's send a fleet. Yeah, yeah. I know. We'll get to them. So we need antimatter to build. Can I train another officer right now? You always need an officer. I got uh, one uh, Ludum Dare game suggestion. Hoping to get more though. See what we can do here. Hmm, that's three heavies. This should be a kill. Hmm. And they have made things a whole lot harder.
Uh, you've already uh, played uh, West of Loathing, Elgardo? Crazy horse. <laughs> Survive this, this better give us a level up. some good luck here. So 
we can do this. Oh. I know, Gore. Once you get super walking with the loathing, you can't go back. some more ship powers. weapon disruption here. Wait, I healed you. Uh, when you change days, you lose the buffs. I know there's an achievement for being the game in a single day. And we're talking about West of Loathing, for those of you watching.
not sure what's going on here, but they're, they feel like they're a tier above me. I'm not quite sure why. That's gonna die. Well, there's our drone. But I told them to repair the ships and it didn't go through. another ship. Hopefully I got the resources for it. There's my tactical here. No, I can't even afford it right now. Matter uh, to build a new ship. Uh, I might as well. Oh, they all repaired. difficulty. Like, a lot more than I did on my last play. Oh, he's dead. If I like the new system of you having to choose skills to put on for your ships, it just feels like it's slowing things down a little bit to me. Well, he leveled up, thankfully. I 
I need some more uh, air battle or uh, space skills here. Disable, it really doesn't seem to be working all that much. Just getting a uh, BS levels of bad luck here. I'm just wondering how this game plays on the higher, or like even higher difficulties. Cause this is getting pretty crazy in terms of just how much we are losing. just kind of boring. It's not really all that tactical at this point. Right. He's gonna die. These cooldowns are just crazy. Oh my god. I 
remember combat being a lot faster in the original version. It feels like everything takes a lot less damage, at least on my side. This is always the uh, risk you run into when you just change numbers for difficulty. That just be can become a real slog to play. Now it's just me sitting here for like five minutes just trying to whittle this guy down. And we don't even have the opportunity to uh, level up. Like, uh, level up our ships and make them more effective. over and over again. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, if he can keep doing his, why can't I keep doing my heals? That seems like a little bit of an unfair advantage. change ship to save too. It used to just knock him out for the entire turn. Like, he wouldn't be attacking at all right now. So, why is he still able to attack while the ship's disabled? I don't know if that's a bug or a feature anymore. Please build my new ship. No, I cannot. Oy. She can't do anything else right now. I need the dark matter. Oh, jeez. Great. I think we're in deep trouble. The 
things I can't seem to rebuild. We may be in a downward spiral here, folks. Oh my god. going on here? We are getting killed. What? Something's not right. Have they overtuned the difficulty? Yeah, we lost. There's no way I can win this.